I thought it was my responsibility or the thing to do to give back to the community in which I made the money. In his Ajax home, Jerry Coughlin is a short drive away from what will soon be the new Grandview Children's Center, named after the man who made it possible with his $5 million donation. Often a donation of a few dollars from a child at a lemonade stand, for example, is deeply meaningful to us, as is Jerry's gift, but the size is just incredible and we were just so thrilled to know that we would be able, in fact, to achieve our dream of a new Grandview because of his gift. Oh, look at all those colors, Lucia. The center has been struggling to shorten its wait list of more than 3,000 kids with special needs. But thanks to his gift, these children will get the therapy and care they need. I'm very proud, yeah. I'm glad I <coughs> donated the money, and I'm, it's nice to have it in my name, I guess. Like the center, Coughlin is from humble beginnings. I was 20 years old. My mom loaned me $15,000, which I'm, I'm sure I paid her back, but uh, and that got me started. Uh, I bought six lots. I thought I'd uh, make 1000 a house, and I ended up making 2000 He has since built an empire in Durham Region with his development company, Coughlin Homes, but not without sharing what he has made. This plot of land will soon be a 20,000 square foot facility and the new home of the Ajax Salvation Army, helping more people in need, all thanks to his $2 million donation. The effect that it's going to have on people for generations to come, uh, obviously the people that are going to be using it now, but their children and their children's children, this building is going to be around for a long time and so Jerry's legacy will stretch far into the future. Coughlin also helping families in need of better health care, donating $1 million to the Ajax Pickering Hospital Shoulder Center. For our staff, when they see somebody like Jerry Coughlin saying that they, he believes in us, that he believes in investing in us, that has a measurable impact on the pride of the staff, the services that we're able to provide, and their commitment to our community. Coughlin says he would like to continue to give, but to do so anonymously. You never wanted any recognition for any of the donations that you've given. That's, that's right. I would think that it would suggest that I was bragging or something. And that's, that's not me. Do you know the impact that your generosity has brought this community? Politicians, friends and family gathering in Coughlin's honour Thursday. One time, great givers don't stand around waiting for applause, they just do. Celebrating one person who will make a difference to many. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honour. Jasmine Pisano, Global News.